Hoş gördük. Diaspor TV'nin bugünkü konağı Avstriya İçtimai Radiosunun emektaşı Cianab Johan Groysli. Welcome Mr. Hans. Merhaba. As we know, you have a radio program on the public radio of Austria. Can you tell us, what does your program mainly focus on? We are doing a cultural program. Uh, it's a music, it's about religion, it's also about politics. And we have a special focus on your holiday on 21st of March. One week long, there will be a lot of broadcasts about Azerbaijan and Baku. And the topic is how do you live? We don't know so much about Azerbaijan. We had a lot of myths. And so in this one week, we try to figure out how we can be more neighborhood. Is it your first visit to Azerbaijan? Yes, it's my, it's my first. Mr. Hans, how did you imagine Azerbaijan before your visit and what are your impressions now? I remembered uh, the time when there was Eurovision and also that's the reason why I'm here because uh, in Euro Eurovision there was documentaries about Baku and adhered there that uh, Females are very well educated, uh, and I was surprised because I, I thought in a Islamic country, how can it be that uh, so many, uh, let's say, 50-50 uh, women are well educated? And my question, because I also uh, studied philosophy, was how does the man react? How does the people react? And the other things I know about Baku, of course, I know the imagine uh, the image. I know the image of uh, the flame towers uh, and that's, I think, all. We, we had a build about oil and, and, and, and things like that, but I don't know anything about it. And I started my research in Vienna and now I think I know two or three percent. And it will, until my journey will end, I hope it, uh, we will go, for example, tomorrow to Sheki to know about uh, religious influences. Uh, we, uh, today we visited uh, a TV station, um, ITV. I was a bit surprised because uh, I heard about a very uh, innovative broadcast about 3D, I think what was the name, where uh, there is a special kind of uh, interview style. Um, for me it was interesting and I also heard about, I'm more in radio, I work for radio, that you have a radio program on ITV, it's uh, for people driving with the car. We don't have something similar uh, uh, how to drive correct with the car. It's for, on the one hand it's funny but it's also very interesting for me to have a broadcast like this. What topics about Azerbaijan are you going to touch upon? I will do in this week, uh, it's called Nebenan Azerbaijan, Neighborhood Azerbaijan. I will do three radio broadcasts, one about religion, uh, about Christianity in Azerbaijan, about um, uh, churches, mosques and synagogues. It, uh, and I will do another broadcast about uh, female education and feminism in Azerbaijan. And uh, a third broadcast I will do, I host a four and a half art and culture show and in this we will present Azerbaijan and music, uh, art, what we find. As you mentioned before, you are going to visit Sheki. What other plans do you have? I, I think we will go to a, a village, I forgot the name, sorry about that, where um, uh, Norwegian people say that it's also a Norwegian influence in Azerbaijan. I, I'm not, do you know the name? It's, yeah, it's, I think we will go there. Uh, and on Sunday, we only have uh, three days time. On Sunday, I will make my research also in Baku again and, and uh, see situations here. How did you start your research about Azerbaijan? How my research started. My son, he's Niels, he's nine years old. He has a colleague in school, Eisle, and I met um, his mother at school at the appointment with the teacher. And I said to the mother of Eisle, uh, you are coming from Azerbaijan. I'm doing a research about Azerbaijan. Do you have colleagues? I have a better view inside. Thank you for coming, Mr. Hans. I hope you will enjoy your visit. Uh, also for you, best wishes.